Yes. Looks like you're in a really lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said. Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. Let's go home. Or I guess, adventure. That works too. Yes, buddy, I have something to tell you, and only you. Can you visit me later, alone? Creepy, but okay. Especially that little tune, I never noticed that before. Come along now, it's a quiet night. Buzz buzz. Biz biz. Porky and picky. Or is it pokey? It's pokey. But he's sometimes called porky. It's been a long time, buzz buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gargus' plans. But, buzz buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. The Starman Jr. blocked the way. I'm gonna... Well, I imagine we're all perfectly fine, but I'm gonna life up anyway, why not? Yes it was, okay, of course it was. Pokey thought to himself. We heal up a little bit. Oh, we, oh yeah, of course, we maximize it. Buzz Buzz charge forward, 89 HP of damage. Picky attacks, 1 HP. Oh, go picky. Pokey played dead. 4 HP, nice. I definitely need to speed up the text on this. It's a bit much. Is that how the animation is supposed to be? It felt like it sort of jumped ahead. The hitting sound is actually your follow notification. Nice. Huh. I like it. Sixteen HP, uh, EXP even. Went up by one. Vitality went up by one. IQ went up by one. Maximum HP went up by twelve. I was gonna say, is it gonna um pick up everything? And yes, it does. It does bring you automatically up. Maximum PP out went up by three. Sweet. I like it. Well, I was taking a big chance there. He came from ten years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygus. As well as humans who have evil thoughts. Now definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent. <clears throat> due to Gygus' influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. Okay, I was wondering how that worked out. You're hungry already? Why don't you have some steak? Pokey, you don't like steak, do you? Too bad. I don't want to go out anymore. I don't care if anyone thinks I'm stubborn. I'm a stubborn mutt. Alrighty. And... Sister, you doing anything? Oh, it's my line now? Oops. What do you want me to do? Oh, yeah, I forget you're a service now. No me. Oops, I keep doing that. There we go. I'm quite quiet today. I hope that's okay. Kind of chilling with the ambience of the, mu of the game right now. Gosh, they're kind of scary, aren't they? I'm really sorry that my curse troubled you so much. Brother, you are really going to get it now. By the way, I'll be happy if you left sometime soon. <laughs> I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. 
It may have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finish last. That's the story of our life. I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts in. My husband is very soft hearted. Who are you talking to? No. I'm so tired. I. I was. Much weaker than I thought. So you must now make your adventure. See you. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gygas, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each one of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near Onet. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? All right. You are a very intelligent young man and... Oh, the pain. Everything is going dark. Uh, before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the Sound Stone. You can record the melodies from the eight Your Sanctuary locations into this stone. It is an awesome item. Radical, dude. By the way, I'm almost gone. But did you want to hear the story one more time? Nah. Good. It's already dawn outside. But it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Uh. <gasps> I'm sure he'll be okay. Nice one, Trash Ketchum. <laughs> Trash Ketchum, what a name. All right, let's go. S where am I going? All right, first and first, actually, I want to see the uh, secret by creepy guy up on the hill. That was the first thing I want to do. Otherwise, I guess it is just sort of make our way to the sanctuary, right? Is there anything I would want to see on the way? Let me know. Also, it's just me and the spiteful crow now. Let's see how this turns out. Yeah, it immediately dodges us. Great. Or we dodge it. No, it dodges us. Are you kidding me? There we go. We're doing more damage, which is nice. Let's gain 3 XP. Enemy left a present. It was a cookie! Of course it was a cookie. Where do they get these cookies anyway? How many times do we have to go up this hill, by the way? Liar has something important to show you. Okay, cool. Biting attack! 4 HP of damage! I really like... Do they use that sort of like, psychedelic background ever again in anything? Like, you got it in the Mother series, sure, but like... Does it go anywhere else? It's quite nice. I keep pressing the L and R buttons for fun! I need to stop doing that. Can it come back, please? Have I broken it all? There we go. Gotta stop doing that. I am playing this on the Wii U Virtual Console. Easiest way to get it. I don't have um, don't have an NES or an SNES or a Nintendo 64. I just have Virtual Consoles for those kind of old games. Nice, our first smash. Oh, that's where you played it first. Nice. It's 
very strange being younger than the general like gamer internet band because everyone's all 90s kids and I'm just like barely I'm, I'm doing this because I trust you first let's go to the basement ah I can tell by the look on your face you don't want to hang out do you that's all right after all we are not even related I know you think I'm a big liar but maybe I'll surprise you I do not remember this bit. He reminds me of something when he's running like that, but I don't know what. Hmm. I guess it's just like, it's mainly me like Paper Mario. He reminds me of Flavio at the moment. So, Ness Buddy, I've found proof of a great treasure. A huge hole. Yeah, ha ha. I'll show you, but you're the only one. Come on. Don't remember this. The golden statue is glowing strangely. Okay. Who are you talking to? No. No. There you go. If this is a sign of what lies below, I just need a little time. My destiny is to find and dig up the buried treasure. I'll eat garlic and work out to help strengthen myself. Go home now. You're getting in the way of my work. You may start to get greedy thoughts. Okay. Is that all I can do here then? A golden statue, huh? Am I using the Wii U Pro Controller? Nope, I'm just using a regular old gamepad. Stranger danger, stranger danger. Yeah. Just a bit. Evil Manny Manny statue. Okay. Creepy. I like how that's just a reversed. That's just a sprite going back and forth on itself. Like the Goombas in their animation way back in the day. Right. Let's get on with the world. Uh, there's nothing at the top of this hill, is there? Mm, doesn't look it. Cool. Because I'm done with this hill now. I've climbed it enough. Or is it a mountain? No, I guess it's, it is just a hill. Right. I don't know. There's a way to check it items without bringing up the menu. Cool. Lava Man, thank you for following. Feel free to help us, because as the title suggests, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is basically a blind let's play. It's not entirely, but uh, I mostly don't know what I'm doing. What do I know about this game? Um, remember the beginning a little bit. Know the names. I know that like each each area is named after a number, like Foresight, Foreside. That was mostly because of Smash that I even remember that. Um, I know the four characters. I I know the introduction to, I think, all three of them. I know the ending. I know the, the final boss. Everyone does. I know Lucas is a thing, but that's a Mother 3 thing. Not a Mother 2. Um, yeah, like, the, everything in between. Kind of fuzzy, you know? Like, I'm going the wrong way. Like, I am not going the wrong way? No, I am going the wrong way. No, I am. Going the right way now, even. Okay, that's confusing me. Um, I think there's a graveyard bit. There's a cloud bit. And then we go, we go to winter and summer. But they're not called winter and summers, they're called something else. Maybe I'm not wrong on that one. I don't know. I know, th see what I mean? I know different things, but whatever. <laughs> If there's something that you don't understand, won't you think about me? I'll be more here than hell at hand. Don't you ever doubt me. Is that a song? It does definitely sound like a song. Oh, I probably heal. No idea. Now that I realise I'm low on HP. Although, oh baby, our fence went up by four. I love that. I love that they have the oh baby things for the leveling up. Nice. First things first then, what does that do? Nope. Will it tell me? Oh, it's not even a PSI move. Wait. What is it? Hmm. I know not. Okay. Can I heal up just by sleeping? I can get a picture. I remember that. 
Mr. Fuzzy Pickles guy. Pictures taken instantaneously! I'm a photo photographic genius if I do say so myself! Okay, get ready for an instant memory! Look at the camera! Ready? Say, Fuzzy Pickles! Hey, hey, hey. With a giant gross hand! Wow, what a photograph! It will always bring back the fondest of memories! Press A on the status menu again. Oh. Whoops. Ah. Ah, okay. So put one enemy to sleep. Cool. Now I know. Thank you. See, I never would have picked that one up. Because the status menu look doesn't look like when you press A2. Da -da 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 no problem here. Can I get in it then? Not a thing. Damn. You would have thought, huh? I've heard this song with lyrics to it, so I'm trying not to sing that, but... Are there official lyrics to this, or have fans just put lyrics to the songs? Talk to mum to meal. To meal? You're back! Don't bother yourself with talking now. You look tired. Mothers understand these things. Eat some steak and scoot up to bed. Ah. There we go. Fan lyrics. Okay. And is there, a, is there like an official fan lyric? Or do people add their own every time? Like, does everyone know? Is it, you know, is the lyrics a commonly accepted one? Or are there a bunch of different renditions? Good morning, sleepy bones. Are you ready to start your adventure? I'm so proud of you. My little man is grown up too fast. I don't want to go out anymore. I don't care if anyone thinks I'm a stubborn mutt. Let's pick up the receiver. Yes, it's your dad. I deposited $63 into your bank account. Taking away what you've spent, you should now have 93 in the bank. Well, AXP to get you to the next level. Yes, 64 Anyway, what do you need from me? Uh, yeah. Need a save. Your old dad was always thinking about hitting the hay for the day. I have created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night. Sleep tight. We're a great team, aren't we? Well, you should turn the power off instead of just pressing reset. Alright. Shoot, am I stuck now? Oh, I thought it meant end the call. Damn it. Well, I'll just load that, make a save and load to it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, I just made a save, but then is it not gonna is it gonna count as the thing on my savey thingy? That's a shame that they do this. Oh, that's a really GI. Okay. Create restore point, please. No, don't, because then I'll be stuck there. What do I want to do here? You gotta reset. If I press the reset button though, that's what I did at the beginning last time. I'll go to the very beginning of everything. So... Do I just want to come out and go back into the thing? Or do I go back to the beginning with that? If you know what I mean. You know what I mean? Because if I create a restore point, it will just put me there. Reset button? That just resets the game. All unsaved data will be lost, so... That's exactly what I did to get the beginning of the last one, I think? Or was that what put me... in thingy? That put me able to open it again, didn't it, at the beginning? Yeah. Alright. You're right. Scary stuff. Because I don't want to lose that whole intro again. Don't mind me. There we go, cool. I forgot this whole menu showed up the first time. Whew! Mini stress over. Ironic though that it's like, make sure you turn off the power and don't reset. How do you get out of this? You, you reset. <laughs> Oops. Gosh, he's fast. 
<laughs> so what's everyone else's experience with the game? Because I, I do not need to put it on my legs. Um, because obviously, like, I played, well, I never played it up to this point properly. I only got to level four. So literally there. This is as far as I've gotten, I think. Oh, no, no, I haven't. I've gotten into on it a bit. Once in, like, another playthrough ages and ages ago. So, like, I faintly have uh, experience with this game, but not enough to make real significance. When has everyone else played this game? Are they recent? Like, I know someone earlier said that they also played it on the Wii U Virtual Console, so that wasn't too long ago that that was a thing, like, two or three years. What about everyone else? Anyone played back when it first came out? Have we got those kind of retro gamers here? What's going on? You're playing it right now. Nice. People speedrun the game and it's fun to watch. I imagine it's from a whole other conversation point, but I never thought about uh, speedrunning Earthbound. Is there a... I faintly remember there was like a thing hidden here. But I could be wrong. Ah, uh, this is your first experience, Fang. Okay. <laughs> You've never seen or played it. Wow. Gosh, Steven. Never even seen, seen it. Actually, that's uh, a funny point. I was playing it. Actually, not too long. I guess I was playing it two months ago. Um... On it, public library. Use the library more. <laughs> of course. Um, where I was watching it and uh, I had like a couple people come over and they didn't recognize the game because I, I imagine it's not that well known. It's a secret path. It's totally like a secret path. Um, I'm, I'll go into all this in a minute. I'm just trying to find this secret bit. Not a thing. There's definitely a thing there, see? <sighs> Damn it. Maybe it's at the back of the library or something. But um, people are like, is that Pokemon? I'm like, no, this isn't Pokemon, but uh, multiple people said, is that Pokemon? Which is kind of funny to me. Library is a nice place to learn stuff. I got a lot of info about Earthbound. You can borrow maps for nothing. Oh. Hi. Kids can borrow only maps at this library. Do you want to borrow one? Sure. Here's a map. On it is not the only thing on the map. All the info is there, except for the info that isn't there. <laughs> Pressing the X button allows you to view the map at any time, however, can, how convenient. You know, the X button, located near the top. Ha ha ha. It's got the town map. Sweet. Because they expect you to go out on your own and explore. I'm cramming for the big test tomorrow. It's about games. Hotel rule. If you stay at a hotel, you'll wake up with a full HP and PP. Life recovery rule. Recovering your life will give you full HP, but zero PP. Hmm. I bet this stuff will be on the test. <laughs> He's focusing. I guess it is kind of like Pokemon. At giant step, there's a monster gun, a spot from the outside world. No one knows when the monster made giant step its territory. I wonder if he's stronger than my wife. Jeez, okay. Recently, I've sensed the presence of UFOs flying around. Or am I just dreaming? I recently read a book titled, Our Convenience in Society. It said that our modern society demands that there always be an ATM in hotels and drugstores. Just knowing that is convenient. I'm glad I read the book. I can't believe I didn't know this stuff. I'll check whether or not we have an ATM in our drugstore. Gosh, it's hard to move around. Who are you talking? I read the book called Our Society is Convenient. It said that these days there are always telephones in hotels and drug, drug stores. Which, by the way, we don't call that that in England. We don't say stores or drug. Although we do have a place called Super Drug, so what do I know? I also learned that you, uh, to use a green payphone costs a dollar, while the black phones are free. If you weren't aware of this, all your money could get eaten up by your phone calls. I'm glad I read that book. I'm trying my best to move around here. <laughs> And she's focusing too. A man of few words. It's useless talking to him now. Creepy. Gosh, this is a big library. What's going on here? I can't believe I saw it with my own eyes. I was staring out the window and there it was, just fluttering there. 
Only seen it in the encyclopedia before. What was it? A magic butterfly. If you get close to a magic butterfly, all your cares fly away. Just like a fluttering butterfly. Yep, yep. That's the effect of the legendary magic butterfly. I love talking about it. Oops. Sorry about the outburst. I get carried away with all the talk about lovely butterflies. I'm researching giant step. It's located north and west of Onnit. I heard it possesses a special power. Okay. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.